Price? Price is yeah. 8.195. Okay, that's 8 million. That's, that's correct. All right, <laughs> take check. I'll get you right now. Um, sure. <laughs> Man, am I excited today. I am on the turnpike heading south to Broward County, heading down to Fort Lauderdale and Los Olas Boulevard. Why? Today I'm going to one of the biggest boat shows in the country, the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, the granddaddy of them all. I've wanted to go to this boat show and I've just never made it down to it. I've been to the West Palm many times, but this is my first time going here. One of my friends is a yacht broker with Denison Yachts and he's got an 80 foot yacht that they're showcasing. And uh, so this is gonna be an amazing day. It's blue skies, one of the best shows in the country. Uh, it's gonna be really fun, guys. So let's hit it. All right, so we made it into the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. It's my first time here. I just had to get my press pass. That's right, guys, I'm pressed today. So I get full access to the event, which is really cool. And uh, I'm gonna bring that to you. So the first thing I wanted to show you is probably the smallest boat we're gonna see all, all day, which is one of these kayaks. And I actually own this particular kayak myself. We do a lot of fishing on it. And uh, so you can see this is a, an old town sportsman. Really cool kayak, it's good for fishing, very stable. But that's the small boat. Wait till you see what we see today. All right, I'm really excited about this, so let's get started. Center here at the Broward Convention Center, and they have a lot of all the fishing boats and center consoles in here. You can see I got this uh, awesome Donzi power boat right here, super cool. If you like those uh, offshore racing boats, which these things are awesome when you see these things going. Um, and they got all your fishing and all sorts of just uh, other boats in here. And then we're gonna go catch the shuttle, and the shuttle's gonna take us out to the marina. So, like I said, my friend Paul works for. Uh, Denison Yachts, and he's got an 80 foot yacht that we're gonna go take a look at. And he's a couple blocks away from here, but this is a huge boat show and it's going on all weekend. So uh, let's go uh, cruise around here for a little bit. Lots of beautiful boats to see, but wait till you get outside and we see the really big ones. They have some super yachts here, and I do mean super. Now these are really cool. I've done quite a bit of kayak fishing over my years. Uh, I used to go out uh, with a really basic kayak many, many years ago, back in my early 40s. We used to go offshore. I don't do that too much anymore. I stick to inshore fishing with my son now, but we have a couple kayaks. But uh, these are cool. You got these stand-up boards that uh, out. you even got a, a motor on them now, right? I mean, <laughs> you can get anywhere you want into the shallows. Um, and then of course they have this big thing here, right down here you got one of these which is a really cool uh, pedal drive system. And uh, I mean, you can rig these things out with everything. They're super sturdy and uh, just, it's solid. I mean, All right guys, so I ran into John here, checking a look at these awesome boats. They caught my eye, especially the cool lights, the lights on these boats. And he's with Dynamic Boats. And where are you guys out of? Uh, we're in Miami. Miami, okay, cool. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, you've been building boats for a while or? Uh, so we're a new company. Okay. Uh, we started in January of this year. Uh, we built five boats on spec. Nice. And uh, yeah, we've got boats we can deliver tomorrow. Cool. Uh, what What is your ideal customer like? Are you guys? I mean, from what I'm looking, these look like nice fishing boats. So I'm gonna. I'm, what I assume you guys are a fishing, a high a high end fishing. Yeah. Boat? So we designed our boat a little bit differently than what a lot of other people did. So we designed our boat as a family island runner sandbar boat first, and then backtracked it to fishing. Cool. So it's a family boat that's fishable. 
and you can take your wife, your kids, your friends, your family. You can go to Peanut Island during the day, and then you can come back. You can go out fishing with your buddies. Or Sounds like the perfect day, man. Exactly. I, I you like, can do I a like, little bit of everything. Man, it's like it's talking my language. That's exactly what I, we just <laughs> actually camped up at Peanut Island in August for the, which is not the best time to camp at Peanut yeah. Island, but it was for my son and it was back to school and we wanted to do some fun. So him and his best friend, we stayed up there. We're actually looking last night to see if we can get in there in January. It's oh, nice. so cool to camp yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah, it's such a beautiful well, spot. Well, um, you know, I have a channel all about just showing what you know life is in South Florida yeah. and uh, being a realtor, and I like to show people. And and you know, I did see all the big yachts and the fun yachts that catch people's attention. But this is more. I mean, if you guys want to buy a yacht, buy a yacht. But I think most of you guys watching me are more realistic in this size boat than uh, 200 feet. But uh, what is the uh, starting point for your your boats? And yeah, so I know it's custom, probably. Yeah, but. yeah. So we're fully customizable. We can do everything from. You dream it, we build it. That's kind of what we say. Okay. Uh, but we start at 250,000. We work our way up. You know, we can get all the way up to 500,000 if that's what you're into. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're they're a great family boat that kind of does everything for you, and it really is an accessible, high quality product. Cool. So what we did is we took super yacht quality fit and finish, and tried to bring it into a more accessible platform and bring that attention to detail really into a smaller market. Nice. Well, they're beautiful. I love the the bright orange and the one the one you guys I'll show you. So you kind of saw the lights on that. It's got this blue and it's got a blue color with like this sort of uh, blood red logo on it, and uh, uh, it's it's really cool. So I'll go show you guys that in a second. I'll go on board and get you a little bit of footage. But well, hey man, hey, I, I, thanks thank so you much. Appreciate it. I, you yeah, know, I like it. I like talking it. One, I like helping businesses out. You guys said you're new. Yeah, And, thank you. and my channel, I've always tried to help out like the local businesses, sure. what they are. So if you guys are thinking about buying a fishing boat. And you want something nice, and you want to take the family up for cruise. You want to run over to the islands. I mean, he's got two screws on this one. You can get to the islands easy with that, no problem. Absolutely. And, uh, I've seen guys go over there on one. I don't like that, but uh, and uh, it's got the hard tops and everything. I mean, it's just beautiful. You got to see the lights. The lights. I'm going to show you all the lights in this boat because it's ridiculous, and that's what caught my attention. So, uh, all right, man. I'm going to go. I'm going to give a little Appreciate footage it. of it. Thanks, brother. Hey, Appreciate thanks so much, Paul. It. Yeah. Thank all right, so this boat is super cool. I mean, just even the floor, even the floor, guys, the floor I'm standing on, it's like this padded, it looks like wood, but it's just, it's padded. But they got all the lights, everything, the cup holders are lit, the speakers are lit, it's got the lights above, so I imagine this thing at nighttime is absolutely beautiful. But uh, what a cool boat, let's check this out. What do you think, Palm Beaches Paul style right here? We go cruising. Go to Peanut Island, go out. This thing's great, man. I mean, you got these seats here, you can sit up on if you need to sit, stand up, you know, it's padded, so you're on a, like the hitting the waves on a choppy day, you're still you control the boat. It's got everything right here. Um, looks like it's got some pro trims on it, which is really cool. You got your uh, dual props, everything. Um, it, not side, what are these on the side over here? That's a joystick. Joystick? For steering, so like the whole thing, you don't, you don't need a bow thruster. You can twist it, it'll turn the bow, you go sideways, either way, you got Very angle, cool. anywhere you move the joystick, the boat goes. That is awesome, man. That's so cool. So, uh, guys, this is a beautiful boat. So, you know the name, you, you see, you've met uh, the guy in charge, and uh, so if you're thinking about buying a boat in South Florida, you guys follow my channel, reach out, these guys are down in Miami, and uh, cool. So we took a shuttle over to uh, Bahia Mar, and uh, now we're over by all the docks. And uh, we're gonna go find uh, my friend Paul at Dennis and Yachts, and uh, we're gonna take a look at some real beautiful boats.
course, at the boat show, you're always going to find other things like really cool vehicles and, of course, Prevost uh, super buses. Because, I mean, hell, if you're going to own a $80 million yacht, you might as well have a really nice uh, bus to uh, get to the marina in, right? So there's everything here, like I said, not just boats, uh, fishing gear, uh, diving gear, everything uh, about getting out and enjoying life on the water. I think it needs one more engine to make it go fast enough. Just maybe one more. That thing's got to move ass. All right, so uh, I found a really beautiful yacht with a very cool name called Hey Jude. And uh, this is Vanessa. Yeah. And Vanessa's with HMY Yachts. They're a uh, big yacht broker down here in South Florida. How's the boat show going? It's going really, really good. Yeah. Really excited, yes. For Friday's a good day? Friday is a good day. Uh, we enjoyed Wednesday and Thursday as well. Okay. Yeah, a lot of serious buyers. Wednesday's but. definitely, yeah, For especially sure. for so what do we have here? What what's the size of this yacht? Um, it's eighty five feet. Eighty five thousand two. Okay. Princess. Princess. Nice. Correct. And um, price. Price. Yeah. Eight point one nine five. Okay, that's eight million. That's, that's correct. All right. <laughs> Take check. I'll get right now. Um, sure. <laughs> Venmo. Sure. Venmo. <laughs> I don't think Venmo does that. <laughs> Probably not. Think they do, Probably but. not. So, well, it's a beautiful yacht, and uh, you. you guys always have really nice yachts down here. I've seen you. I've yes. been in South Florida for 30 years, so I'm kind of familiar with who you guys are okay. and stuff and seeing it. But um, a lot of my viewers are up in the Northeast. They look to move down here to South Florida. Uh, I'm a realtor, so I'm always showing them, you know, why we love living in South Florida. Sweet. And uh, I can't imagine a better way to enjoy South Florida or uh, the ocean out there, even right. the Bahamas, and having a beautiful yacht like this. So Absolutely. Look at the skies on the water. It's a good day. It's not bad. It's Wake up, day. hear the waves, and yeah, it's always good. So, Absolutely. well, I know y'all want to see what it looks like on the inside, and she's told me I could go in, so let's Absolutely. go check it out. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous inside. This is what an $8 million yacht looks like, and um, I don't want to touch anything. <laughs> it is just so beautiful inside. So, let's go take a look. This is uh, what uh, she said was 86 feet long, and uh, about 85 feet altogether, I guess. $8,195,000. And the boat's name is Hey Jude. Pretty cool. All right, let's go take a look at it. Of course. Oh man. 
So here's your uh, command deck, control of this boat all up here. This place is amazing. Here's the cockpit up here. You got uh, all your controls, your controls and everything up here. You got camera looking all the way back there. You got this commanding view of everything in front of you. Man, just really beautiful. And then you got this little uh, section over here. Kind of hang out, chit chat with the captain to your destination. This one's for the wife. Let's go down below deck. She loves that silly show. Can you imagine just waking up in here and looking out on both sides and seeing the beautiful Atlantic Ocean or whatever ocean you happen to be in? Man, this is living the paradise lifestyle at your finest. Come back here, a couple more rooms, dual beds, bathroom. Flickering is because of the lights. She was telling me it would do that. And another bedroom over here. All right, let's go up top. say one thing it wouldn't suck definitely I could definitely live like this so this particular yacht is uh, normally down in Island Marotta so it's up here for the boat show and Island Marotta is definitely one of my favorite places to go down in the Florida Keys so uh, I guess you can take this and hop on it and cruise over to the Bahamas or anywhere in the world you want to go. But what a beautiful, beautiful boat. So my friend just texted me from Denison Yachts and uh, now that I know now that I know where he is at, uh, this place is huge. I'm going to go find him. So far it's been an amazing boat show with uh, just all types boats to see and dream about, <laughs> especially ones like this. So uh, if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, watch some of my other videos. I make videos about what it's like to live in South Florida and the boating lifestyle is definitely a lifestyle here in South Florida. Cool thing about the boat show is you get people from all walks of life here. You've got fishermen, you've got yachties, uh, you got sports fishermen, just any anybody, even kayak anglers, whatever it is. There's uh, there's something for everyone here. Uh, you know, you saw the little dinghies, uh, they have flats boats, mega yachts. Um, if you've got money, they've got a boat for you or a toy for you here at this boat show. And uh, it's uh, like I said, the largest one here in the United States. My first time checking it out and. Uh, 
I don't know if that whistle is, is that cocktail hour? Because I'm, I'm all for that. It's hot out today. And of course, they got all your uh, food and drinks that you could want. Fresh coconut, put a little rum in it, a little, that'd do you just right. Food, food smells real good right now. All right, so if you own a mega yacht, you're certainly not gonna get on it with everyone else. You're gonna make a big entrance, right? And what better way to make a big entrance on your mega yacht than on your own private helicopter? Oh man, what a fantastic boat show so far. I'm sitting in some air conditioning here finally. It is hot out today. Our cool weather has left us, but uh, this feels fantastic. So uh, I found my friend Paul. Uh, he's out running around. He'll be back. But uh, he's with Denison Yachts, and this is one of the yachts he's selling. This is the Azure. It's an 80-foot azimuth yacht, and um, I believe they said it's 2002, 2004 but uh, it's obviously a resale. And uh, we're gonna go take a tour of this, and then when Paul gets here, we'll ask him a few technical questions about it. But uh, all in all, it's been a fun boat show. Um, lots of beautiful yachts. This is one, it's, like I said, it's so much bigger than the West Palm Beach show. I love the West Palm Beach boat show. Um, you can get around and see everything a little easier. It's much smaller. But I haven't even got to where the mega yachts are. There's a whole section which I have to hop on the bus and go over there. So, but. Fantastic boat show. If you're thinking about moving to South Florida and you're thinking about boating, reach out to me because as a realtor, I can help you find the home to put the boat. You know, you can dock behind or I can get you connected with Paul and he is a licensed captain. Uh, he's got years of experience and uh, he's a yacht salesman so he can help you, you know, with any type of boat that you would need. And then he knows South Florida as well as all the boating and navigation and, you know, just all the things that you'd want to know uh, about boating but as a local realtor I've been here 30 years and I could help you find a house so put us together Paul and Paul and uh, you get paradise so <laughs> all right so let's go take a look at this beautiful boat all right guys so let's take a look at this 80-foot yacht called the Azure you got this lounge area back here these uh, sofas for just chilling out and entertaining and relaxing really nice your lighting up on your ceiling, entertainment area. Here's your dining area. Now I'm not a boater, so I don't know all the terms, but I think this is the helm. I believe that's what she said. And 
with all your navigation here. And all the leather. Alright, so here's your uh, galley. A couple sinks. Microwave. Then you got a fridge. And then below deck is the crew quarters. Let's head down there. Okay. Gotta be young. Alright, so now we're down in the crew quarters. So they got a little burner, sink, kind of little area here to chill out in. Washer and dryer. Little mini fridge, place for some snacks, TV, and then over here they got a bunk beds. So just enough to uh, sleep. Because remember, you're here working. And then the head with the little shower part spins around up here, closes off for a shower. And then the engine room. All right, let's go downstairs. Let's check out the rooms. So here's a bathroom here with a shower. A full head. Another little room. Looks like some people came on board. On a TV. Another room over here. Nice that they all have their own bathroom. Looks very comfortable and cozy. All right, and this is a VIP room. I like this one because It has this cool hatch right there. And I could just see Lane in the middle of the night and looking up there. That would be amazing. And then finally, the main room. Closet. Workstation. And uh, bathroom. And good size shower. Right, that was very nice. Let's go check out upstairs. You come up here, you got another nice big deck back here. Second jet ski area to hang out. Lots of open space up here. And then your second helm. Oh man, I could definitely get used to this. Sit up here on this uh, top deck here and enjoy the cool breeze. It is a beautiful day. So if you're ever in Florida and Fort Lauderdale in late October, you definitely want to check out the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. It's just an amazing event. And uh, this is how we live here in South Florida. You know, whether it's on a kayak or a mega yacht, any anytime you can get out on the water, that's a good time. And that's uh, the way I've always enjoyed my life down here. Uh, for the past 30 years, I love being on the water. So, and again, it doesn't matter if it's a, me kicking the pedals on a kayak or cruising out and around in one of my friend's boats, it's all good. So, uh, I think Paul's pretty busy. I don't know if we're gonna get a chance to talk to him, but I'm gonna check out uh, some more boats, maybe head over to the Mega Yachts if we can get over there. That's another section I have to get on the boat or uh, hop on the, uh, the bus to get over there. And then that might be wrapping it up, so we'll see.
realized I've made my way over to the Super Yacht Village. This is where all the big boy toys are. You can see submarine, personal submarine right there. I mean, how cool would that be to have? Um, you know, your own little airplane right over here, personal water plane, um, luxury car. So this is really cool. This is where all the Vega yachts are. So, uh, and my media pass got me in here, so I'm really glad I got that today. Um, so we're gonna walk around and just see what we can see. I'm not expecting them to let me go on too many of these boats. They want serious buyers on them, but we'll see. So let's go check out the big boy toys. I don't know what else to say, but just wow. I mean, I'm literally between millions and millions of dollars of boat right here, and these things are just incredible. Um, I mean, look at this back here behind me. This lounge pops out. You got all these mega yachts here, just amazing, beautiful. All right, so now we're just into a whole different category of boats altogether. I mean, it's like Elon Musk type of uh, money. It's insane. Look at the size of this boat. Ship, I should say ship, it's a ship. And take a look at these. Watch the turn around here, look at this one. guys so I found this boat and I was intrigued because it's called the Walker's K and Walker's K is a really famous place for fishing and uh, over in the Caribbean and a lot of fly fishing and you can see the flats boats they have so I was on here and I met Jan Jan is actually with the people who built the designers of the boat and I was t he's got some interesting stuff to say so Jan welcome to the channel yeah I appreciate well, it thank you glad to do that you're a realtor he was a realtor once over in Naples too so he knows a little bit about real estate but uh, this is a really interesting boat so you said that this boat has a periscope that goes underneath it. Yeah, this, this boat, you know, we built this boat as a, what we call it, a toy carrier or a yacht support boat. Um, these type of boats follow the white yacht, the mother yacht. We're loaded with toys, as you can see, the flat boats, jet skis. There's actually a dive boat, a Triton dive boat on this boat. We have an Icon plane, a water plane. Um, we have a, uh, a rip here, sports equipment, jet skis, barbecue, grill, everything. There's a big crane, you might be able to see that. Yeah, look back here guys, that, I know the sun, but see the big crane back there to the lift? So they got that? That crane carries 13,000 kilos, so you're around 30,000 pounds that it can lift on this deck. There's actually an H here for a helicopter, nice. so we can land the helicopter up to 3,500 kilos. Well, the gentleman that bought this boat originally as a toy carrier, he loved it so much that he hardly spends time on his mother yacht anymore. This is his floating man cave. And he... he I love that, floating man cave. That's very, what we all want. Exactly. He's very private or a very, very passionate treasure hunter. Um, equipped this boat indeed with the periscope so he can map the floor, the ocean floor. Um, he, uh, he's, he's, he's very passionate about the Bahamas, um, bought Walker's Key in remembrance to his father, uh, dropped the momentum on the, on the or, or whatever you call that. Uh, like a memorial? Memorial, yeah, right, right. an anchor with an inscription uh, to the ocean floor. It, he's, it's not just an anchor, folks. He found a historical yeah. anchor and he put a plaque on it in honor of his father and then yeah. he, he dropped it there, but then 
Jan told me he bought the island. He bought Walker's Cay. It's a whole island. It's a resort there. It's been there for a long time. But he bought it so that he always knew where that marker would be. I mean, that's incredible yeah. in its own. So, yeah. yeah, and then and then to continue, he actually very recently found a Spanish galleon, um, and they're retrieving a lot of gold and silver. Um, he's donating everything. It's his territory. He has the rights to salvage that, but he's donating everything 100% to the Bahamian, Bahamian government. He created a museum. It's on display for the world to see. And that's his passion. It's an incredible, cool individual. Also, when the hurricanes happened two, three years ago in the Bahamas, this boat was the first boat out with building materials, kept on sailing up and down between Miami, between Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, to the Bahamas, supplying building materials. He's very passionate with the Bahamas, and uh, it's an inc incredible, uh, incredible uh, individual. That, what a uh, cool story. So, treasure hunting, uh, a cool yacht, and by the way, guys, just this, as he said, this is like the man cave yacht. This is the follow yacht, okay? This is where they put the cool stuff. You saw that submarine that I just saw at the beginning when we walked in. You saw that little uh, airplane that they have, the water plane, um, like we saw at the West Palm Beach Boat Show last year. They have one of those. So. This is just the work yacht, if you want to call it that, because yeah. I know the sun's in the camera here, y'all, but this beautiful yacht right next door, that's his too. So, I mean, if you're a treasure hunter, you know, you can't have one, you gotta have two yachts, so, and a submarine. Jan. Well, he's fortunate enough to be able to do this. Absolutely. But there's a lot of people that enjoy, you know, with him. And, oh yeah, uh, I mean. Yeah, it's fantastic. What, 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 what boy growing up, or girl, what, doesn't want to be a treasure hunter? I mean, it's like, I, I, I get my metal detector and I'm out there thinking I'll find some Spanish doubloons up in uh, Fort Pierce, but uh, um, you know, it's fun to do no, it. It's very cool. Oh yeah. man, thank you. Paul, what, you're what welcome. Great guy, thank you so much for your time with a beautiful boat no, and no uh, it was really cool for this kind of boat. And then of course they have a gorgeous shot there. So uh, at, that's Fort Lauderdale, that's the Bahamas, that's uh, living in paradise guys. That's what uh, this is all about, showing you guys uh, how fun boating can be and everything. All right, man. Thanks. Bye bye. All right, so this is Eddie. I was sitting next to Eddie on the shuttle coming over here. Eddie's got a really cool job. So, Eddie? Yeah, I work for the American Bureau of Shipping. So I inspect yachts and submarines and ships. So, let me try to get this come back here. So, that, that right there, that submarine, he's not the first guy that has to go down in it. But maybe the second? Yeah. So he goes down and he inspects these. So I said, what an interesting job that must be. 3,300 feet is the depth of that. Yeah, you can have that job. I'll stick to being real estate, Eddie. <laughs> yeah, I have no, I have no desire. As, as cool as that would be to go in, I don't think I'd want to go that far down. It's, so. it's dark down there. All right, folks, that does it. What an amazing day here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. My first time here, had a fantastic time. That was a really cool story there, talking to Jan about that, uh, the Walker's K yacht. And uh, just amazing, so many boats and uh, of all size shapes here that you could see at a boat show like this. Um, it's a great event. I highly recommend you come down to it. And uh, it's at the end of October. So it runs for about four days. It's like a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, Wednesday is usually a private day, so you won't get in on that unless you're a serious buyer. But uh, as you can see, just anything and everything that you could want, including earlier all the shops that had all the shirts and all that. But life in paradise. This is what it's like being on the water, enjoying the South Florida lifestyle. So I hope you liked the video. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and share the video and uh, tell everyone about Palm Beaches Paul. And as always, when you're in the Palm Beaches or even Broward County, get out and enjoy paradise. I'll talk to you next time.